Just recently, Liverpool won the race to sign Darwin Nunes. He was definitely one of the best strikers in Europe last season and Liverpool have surely gotten themselves an absolute gem. But you know, the thing with players that good is that they attract a whole lot of interest from a whole load of clubs and the same thing happened in the case of Nunes. In this video, we'll talk about some of these clubs who were interested in Nunes and the absurd reasons that they didn't sign him. So here are five clubs who missed out on Darwin Nunes for ridiculous reasons. Number one, Manchester United. Okay, if you ever needed proof that bad luck exists, then here it definitely is. Earlier this year, Man United had already scheduled a meeting with Benfica. This was even before Liverpool showed any real interest, but somehow the most absurd thing happened very close to the meeting. Benfica's president, Rui Costa, had food poisoning, and just so you know how bad it was, his entire family was also affected. But wait, you don't have to be scared. It's not that they were poisoned, food poisoning just means that they ate some contaminated food, which made them sick in the stomach for a little while. And well, Rui Costa had to cancel the meeting to save himself a major embarrassment. Imagine turning up for transfer discussions and having to run off to the bathroom every 10 minutes to answer the call of nature. Surely nobody wants that, so you would agree that he was right to call off the meeting. The only problem was that Man United didn't know the reason the meeting was called off, so they actually thought Benfica deliberately snubbed them. And well, they weren't very interested in working with a club that didn't respect them, so they declined any future meeting, essentially ending any hopes of the deal coming to fruition. Number 2. FC Barcelona Before we continue, it might interest you to know that Barca already had interest in him even before he joined Benfica. Yep, that's right. At Almeria in Spain, he had an impressive campaign in the 2019-2020 season, getting 16 goals in 13 games. Now, just because Almeria and Barcelona play in the same country, it was easy for the Catalan club to spot the youngster, and so they did make a bid for him. Now, you're probably wondering why the deal didn't happen despite that bid. Well, the answer is simple. The bid simply wasn't good enough. That's right, they actually bid £8 million for him. Now, we're not sure if they just wanted to test the waters with the offer or if they thought that that was really enough to get the man. But Almeria actually turned it down instantly. Because really, £8 million for a young sensation like Nunes? That was a totally ridiculous offer. And they should consider themselves quite lucky that Almeria didn't block them instantly on all platforms. Now, we're not sure if it was a case of being broke or being stingy, but Barcelona didn't increase the offer. Yet, for some weird reason, they kept hoping that it would be accepted. Of course, it never was, and when Benfica came with an offer that was about three times that amount, they got the man. Number 3. Brighton and Hove Albion What you're about to hear may shock you, but as unlikely as it sounds, Brighton were actually very close to signing the player last year. No kidding, they were so close to signing him that a £24 million price had basically been agreed. Club officials were already in Portugal to seal the deal. But at the very last stage, something very unexpected happened. Benfica's president got arrested. And well, due to the charges against him, he was eventually placed on house arrest. Now, we do know that people are able to work from homes, but that didn't apply to running a football club, so Luis Vieira had to step down as president. By now, you probably already know where we're going with this one. When Vieira stepped down, that role was taken by vice president Rui Costa. And well, let's just say that he wasn't a fan of the move taking place. So the deal, which was already 90% done, essentially got canned. Well, considering the fact that they ended up selling him for £85 million just a year later, I guess it's safe to say that Benfica must be feeling glad that the deal didn't proceed back then. Number 4. West Ham United Remember how we said that Brighton were close to signing the man from Benfica last summer? Well, guess what? They aren't the only English club who came very close to signing the man from Benfica in the last year. You see, in January this year, West Ham were linked with the signing of Nunes. As a matter of fact, they were confident of actually sealing the deal. But just like the case of the others in this video, that deal broke down. And guess why? Well, the reason why was that West Ham couldn't add just a couple more million pounds to their offer. That's right. When Benfica asked them to pay 55 million euros to sign him in January, West Ham offered just 45 million euros and they just weren't willing to go any higher. That's a decision they've dead. Don't you agree he would have scored the goals they needed to win the Europa League? Well, we think so. Number 5. Sheffield United Heh, <laughs> yeah yeah, we know what you're thinking. This is definitely not a name you expected to see here as they're in a lower division and so you might consider Nunes to be totally out of their league. 
pun intended. Remember how in 2020 Barca fumbled the signing of Nunes from Almeria and Benfica took advantage? Well, it turned out that those two weren't even the first to be linked to the player. Yep, that's right. Even as early as 2019, before he was signed by Almeria, Sheffield United had already shown interest in him. Surprised? Don't be. It's true that Nunes is totally out of their league right now, but back in 2019, it was a move that the player would actually have grabbed with both arms. Well, that's simply because, at the time, Sheffield United had just gained promotion to the Premier League and Nunes was still playing in Uruguay, so a move at that time would have been a significant upgrade for him. But for no reason, they simply looked away from him and he was signed up by Almeria in the Spanish second division. Sheffield United would later regret that decision because in their very first season back in the Premier League, they really struggled to score goals. Just so you know how bad it was, their highest goal scorer for that season finished with a total of six goals all season. Yep, that bad. This lack of goals also continued in their second season in the league and ultimately, that's what cost them their Premier League place as they got relegated. So now that you've heard all of that, what club do you think had the most ridiculous reason for not signing him? Do let us know what you think in the comments section. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to get more cool videos, just hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for this channel and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.